Well, Nelson Mandela belonged to the world, and today the world remembered. The flag atop the White House flew at half-staff. The New York Stock Exchange fell silent before the opening bell. And in India, schoolchildren lit candles and said prayers. Mark Phillips has more on why Mandela is so revered throughout the world. As much as the years could diminish Nelson Mandela's body and perhaps in the latter stages of his life his mind, but it is useless and they couldn't future. diminish the man. For us to continue talking peace and nonviolence. There aren't many politicians, especially ones engaged in battles as bitter and complex as the ones he fought, who left such a clean battlefield. Africa! Mohammed Vali Musa was one of Mandela's trusted lieutenants. What's so remarkable is that Nelson Mandela is now everybody's hero. Everybody loves him, blacks and whites, everybody loves him. Nelson Mandela's story was South Africa's story. I greet you all in the name of peace. But his special talent was to do the apparently impossible, to offer the hope of democracy to the oppressed black majority, while at the same time managing the fear of change in the until then all-powerful white minority. It was a balancing act that columnists like Pinky Kobani say only Mandela he's, he's could an manage. Asset, you know? People see him completely above the politics of the day. Of his day and of the current day. Oh, of his day and the current day. I mean, he, they see no fault. The promise of the new South Africa has not always been fulfilled. Democracy has not brought prosperity, far from it. Nelson Mandela is revered for more than simply being the father of the new South Africa. He represents a simpler time when the distinctions between the rights and the wrongs were more clearly defined. After two decades of democracy here, things are a lot murkier now. South Africa's current leadership under President Jacob Zuma is wallowing in a storm of allegations of corruption and mismanagement. We've been very saddened by the, the, the deaths of all these stalwarts. Of his generation. Yeah, of his generation. And every time they go, we have this deep sense of sadness and loss because they, they are in a different mold. We don't see this crass materialism that we see today. South Africa will be burying more than a man. It will be burying some of its dreams. Mark Phillips, CBS News, Johannesburg.